have I created? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I give you what has to be one of the world's biggest fish finger sandwiches. This thing is actually like, I can't appreciate how much this thing actually weighs, like it is heavy. I reckon there's about 4.5 kg here, which is like over nine pounds of fish finger delicious goodness. Now guys, I couldn't just create a normal fish finger sandwich. I needed to do something extreme. So this is a fish finger sandwich with a slight difference. I should point out there's 40 fish fingers here, over one loaf of bread, I think there's 20 slices of bread. We've got some homemade chips, proper British chips. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be absolutely insane. So before I go any further, of course, if you do enjoy this video, go ahead, drop a like. I do highly appreciate it. And of course, subscribe. We are definitely gaining subscribers fairly quickly. So subscribe, plenty more crazy challenges to come. Yeah, just look at this thing, man, insane. Anyway, I'll explain what exactly is going on here because there's a lot. Starting at the bottom, the land, sea, and air. So basically, there's four fish fingers. We've got sliced beef and sliced chicken, mayonnaise and ketchup. Moving up, we have got the fish party. Yes, great name. So there's four fish fingers, two fish cakes, more mayonnaise, more ketchup. Then moving up, we've got the breakfast, which has got, once again, four fish fingers. It's got bacon, eggs, cheese, and more ketchup and mayonnaise. Oh, man, that's just got ketchup, actually, sorry. Then moving up, I think there's um, fish fingers and ketchup. Then we've got the BLTFF, bacon, lettuce, tomato, fish finger. Yes, that's my own creation. So there's four fish fingers on there. Bacon, lettuce, tomato, um, more ketchup, more mayonnaise. Then we have got fish fingers with baked beans. Yes, it's a classic. When I was a kid, that's how I remember eating fish fingers. Moving up, we've got fish fingers with ketchup, more fi fish fingers with baked beans, uh, more fish fingers with baked beans and cheese. And then finishing off, we've got a plain one with fish fingers and ketchup. I've got no idea how many calories are actually here, so for you guys at home, I'll put the total calories for this on your screen now. But yeah, this took a while to put together. I'm very warm right now, and I just want to eat it, basically. Right, I don't actually know how long this is going to take. I'm going to try and get it down as best as I can. Hope you guys like the new background. These are t-shirts that I've won from doing different contests. I've got some different photos behind. Anyway... To help get it down just in case I need it, I've got some bubblegum flavoured pop. So I want to give a big shout out to Bonds Rubs. Uh, this is the seasoning that I actually used on my homemade fries or chips to make them taste delicious. They're probably going to be a bit cold by the time I get to eat them, but that doesn't matter. Anyway guys, let's do this. This has to be one of the biggest fish finger sandwiches ever attempted to be consumed by a human being. Woo! Also on the bottom I've got some, um, I've got an additional fish finger and half the fish cake. Right, let's do it in three, two, one. I want to just try out this first. First one. Oh. It's a bit dry. So far, it's delicious, but it's very dry. I want to try a few of these homemade chips out that I made. Homemade chips. There's about 800 grams just in chips. Mmm, cold. But they taste good. What I want to know is what is your favorite thing to put in a fish finger sandwich? Mine would be probably baked beans to be fair, but I'm weird so. A lot of fries or chips. Alright. Next layer is fish fingers with baked beans and cheese. Oh yes. It's not a traditional combination but yep it's good. It is a little dry, I won't lie, but the flavour is spot on. And I've got another one of baked beans, uh, cheese? No, just baked beans and fish fingers on this one. It's 
just the bread that's a bit dry. It's definitely going down rough. All right, keep going. Next layer is fish fingers with ketchup and mayonnaise. Super dry. I have to say, other than it being a bit dry, this might be one of my favourite things that I've made. Not the tastiest thing, the tastiest thing would be the pancakes I made in the last video. But this is still pretty good, damn good. There's a lot of fries here. Right, oh, that's the fries done, chips. All right, next one is another baked bean one. I think it's got cheese on it. Yep, cheese, baked beans, four more fish fingers. I should point out, there's two pounds of just fish fingers. That's just for the fish fingers. Two pounds, one kg. Right, about 10 minutes in, more than halfway done. Oh, all right, next up, this one's a bit more crazy. This is the BLT FF, bacon, lettuce, tomato, fish finger. The name's fairly self-explanatory, if I can speak. Mm-hmm. That's not bad. Traveling down so slow. This might be my favorite layer so far. Ah. Right. Oh. Right. This one is fish fingers, ketchup, and more mayonnaise. Ugh. That's dry. Yep. Now we're getting onto the exciting layers. This is the breakfast one. So it's got four fish fingers, it's got two fried eggs, bacon, uh, beans, beans, and cheese. Got sauce on my arm. Oh, this one's got some weight to it as well. Weird, but it works. See all the egg and bacon. Oh. Two more left. Come on. <sighs> wow. I must say, this is pretty, pretty insane. Oh. 
Alright, final two. This is the fish party one. So it's got fish cakes, four fish fingers, ketchup and mayonnaise. I'm only going to use that if I really need it. Right, fish party. Tastes nice though, nice fish cake. We'll break it apart. There's a whole fish cake just in this half. Under 30 minutes. I don't think I'm going to need that. Right, I'll finish off. This is the other half of the fish cake that wouldn't fit in the sandwich. Ooh. Spare um, fish finger as well. I don't want it anymore. Final layer. As you can see, I've used different bread for this one because I ran out. Um, right, this is just a weird one. Land, sea, and air. So we've got fish, beef, and chicken. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but there's a whole chicken breast. Four slices of beef and then four fish fingers, mayonnaise and ketchup. And this one is probably the heaviest one out of all. It's white bread as well. So, and yes, it's the ends of the bread, but I like the ends of the bread. That's wrong. Wow, that's the driest one yet. There's a lot of meat in this. Look at the amount of beef. Beef, chicken. Fish. I don't know why I created this layer. It's Mishi. Right, final half. This bit was definitely a mistake. Now it's getting tough. This final piece is brutal. One more bite. It's not, it's like five, but I keep telling myself that. Thirty minutes, come on. I don't even feel full. I just I don't want fish fingers anymore. I can get these scraps. Some people won't say I've cheated it by not eating the beans. Oh, whatever, there's a few beans left, I don't care. Whew. Well, guys, there we have it. Uh, pardon me. That was probably one of the biggest, world's biggest fish finger sandwiches 
consumed by one person. So technically, could I call it the world's biggest fish finger sandwich? <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, pardon me. I don't know, but I'm going to. That was probably maybe one of the world's biggest fish finger sandwiches ever consumed by a human being in around 30 minutes. Let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see me create next. I'm thinking a giant curry. I said it in my last video, so I'm thinking about doing a giant curry with like naan breads and all sorts of delicious stuff. Anyway, with that said, guys, thank you very much for watching. And of course, I will catch you in the next video.